Canvas and brushes have replaced car parts here. This spacious building was home to the Baker Electric Motor Vehicle Company at the turn of the 20th century. After car company closed in 1914, American Greetings Creative Studio made its home here for nearly seven decades. Now it is the largest art center in Cleveland. It was a big studio for all of the illustrators at American Greetings who make all the greeting cards. It was their facility for many, many years. And now it has this life as an incubator for arts-based businesses, so there are all types of creators in our property. Industrial design, pottery and ceramics, paintings and photographs, sculpture, wax painting. Today the site houses more than 40 studios and workshops. Artist Sam Francosio has been doing industrial screen painting for more than three decades. He is now retired and can finally dedicate his time to his life's passion, painting. I do a lot bigger paintings also, but I'm limited because I have a little studio in my house right now and I'm limited to it. <laughs> so I got about, I have another bigger of my paintings I did in college. I did, I have in Prospect Avenue right now, an insurance company friend in his office right now. Don Teckler does wax painting here, a painting technique that goes back to the 3rd century BC. Wax painting involves using heated beeswax. Then colored pigments are mixed in. The paste is applied to canvas and formed into a shape with the help of various brushes and knives. I started out in photography, so that's what my degree is in. So I learned the lighting and, and composition that way. So I look at my paintings and I frame them and I look at lighting from a photographer's point of view. On the first Wednesday of every month, the 78th Street Studios hold an open day. Dozens of artists hold workshops for anyone willing to try their hand at a new yet unknown type of art. We've actually never done anything like this before. We're just kind of, uh, her mom suggested it, so. My mom heard about it on NPR, so yeah, yeah. we came on over and yeah. we're always, you know, look, looking to find something else to do in Cleveland. Um, and so she suggested this, the Watch It Wednesday. It's a, I love it's a it. lot cooler than just going to an art museum because you get to see the, the artists, talk to them, mm -hmm. try to figure out why they do what they do. 78th Street Studios are home to not only artists, musicians have joined in on the act. These studios have also been the backdrop in music videos by bands such as Pussycat Dolls, Papa Roach and Warrant. Maxim Moskalko for VOA News, Cleveland, Ohio.